hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all um i had the worst headache y'all i i really did i woke up and i was like what is going on and my day ones twos and threes y'all know i go through this little phase that i just you know i just took me an aspirin lay back down and when i did i slept really really hard and then when i woke up something told me to go back to greek mythology on Dolph. Go back to Greek mythology. There are some clues that you're missing. So I was like, okay, let me let me try to see what did I miss. Okay, and some told me to go back to that video that I had told y'all about when they was lining Dolph up a year ago. Okay, some said go back to that video. You're gonna see some things. So the first thing came to my mind was there's a shift of brewing right now. Okay. There's there's been a shift going on for a little while, okay? When Mo3 was taken out, right before he was taken out, this video was put out, okay? Um people a lot of people was talking about snakes. Snake this, snake that, snake this, okay? And I noticed that the people that allegedly had something to do with taking Mo3 out. They were posting a lot of stuff about snakes. Happy Snake Day and all of this. A lot of people was posting Happy Snake Day around the day that Mo3 was taken out. And people were doing videos about snakes. Okay. So I just wanted to show you a few things. This is Cardi B. And remember I was telling y'all that she knew. You know they knew something that was going on. The industry knew about what was about to take place. Okay. Um, that's why I said it's an industry thing. Alright y'all. So, as you can see, Cardi B right here with the snakes. And this is somebody. This is the preacher's son, y'all. The bishop's son that owns the church, you know. That's the bishop of the church that I told y'all that. The same church that, you know, his girlfriend is a police officer. You know, the same church that Trap Boy Freddie and them all grew up in, okay. His whole family goes to this church, okay. This is his son. And when Mo3 passed, he was putting up a lot of stuff too. And this is one of the things he was putting up about. Happy Snake Day. Okay, y'all? So, you see him with his toys in his hand, but it's covered. Okay? But this is who, you know, they said was on the expressway too. He was one of the people on the expressway. Allegedly. Okay? Now, like I told you, it was a lot of Happy Snake this and Happy Snake that. But I wanted to bring up the fact that this person right here was the last person that Mo3 spent the night with. Okay? This was the person that he left her house. And when he left her house, he was taken out. Okay? Um, this person right here is one of the Skeet sisters. Okay, y'all? She has two sisters. Okay, y'all? And um, this is one of her posts. This is one of her posts. And remember when I told y'all that people study these people to see, you know, people is sitting back watching these people, um, posts, stuff like that, that they're putting out. People that send people circle. And this is how they find out, you know, who they can use and who they can't. Okay. So this post says, Jocelyn Jackson, love Mo3. And they got, you know, a crying, you know, emoji right there. Okay, and Josie Banks, this is not her real name, but this is the name that she uses when she's on social media. Um, she says, girl, quit playing. His ass look like a damn hash brown. Okay, this is the woman that Mo3 spent his last night with. And this is the type of stuff that her and her sisters was posting about Mo3. And it has for real with that little ass ugly nose. 
And then the other sister named Jasmine, she says, kneecap face. So they were talking about Mo3 like a dog, okay? They didn't really like Mo3 like that. But, you know, Mo3 was rising in the industry. So the more money he started making, the more that they start acting like they liked him and wanted him to be around and invite him to the kids' birthday parties and all of this other stuff, okay? And a lot of people feel like they were plants just to get close to him because, you know, allegedly, one of the girls used to date Yellow Beezy, okay? Now, not only did one of the girls used to date Yellow Beezy, her baby daddy is the cousin of Yellow Beezy, the one that Mo3 was messing with. See, this is why it's important for you to know who you're dealing with, okay? Due to the fact that he was looked like he was intoxicated the night before, which is the same night that they dropped him off at her house because I don't see him driving like that. It's very important for you to realize what you're around, okay? And what you're dealing with. And I'm, and hopefully this wakes people up that deals with, you know, people like this. Okay? So this is, you know, after Mo3 is taken out. Don't ask me why his manager, alleged manager, because we found it now he ain't no damn manager because he didn't have no paperwork on it. So he was somebody that pretty much promoted him. Okay? So... His promoter and his record label, well, distribution deal people, decided that they would do a visualizer for his videos after he passed away. And for some reason, they thought it was cute to put in snakes. Ask yourself why. When everybody was running around talking about him saying, you know, to the other people saying, Happy Snake Day. Now, was all of this right in his face? Is this right in our face? Ask yourself this question. Everybody say that he was snaked. He had a bunch of snakes around him. And yet and still, he didn't pay attention to the posts people were putting out. He didn't pay attention to none of this stuff. Okay? But like I said, there's a shift that took place. After Mo3 was taken out, you know, they're always working on the next round. All right? So now, all of a sudden, it's spiders everywhere. Remember I told y'all about the spiders that was in Dolph's video? And, you know, I looked at it as he was in a video with Trap. Spiders set, you know, that's how they catch their prey. You know, they set up a web and they trap you in the, the spider web, okay? So my attention totally went toward the Trap. Okay, but should it all go toward trap? Think about it, y'all. A lot of, you know, the videos that they got the spiders in and stuff, the spiders are depicting as women in these videos. Megan the Stallion video, the spiders and stuff. So I was like, okay, is this something to that? All right, what does this really represent? When you got this black spider right here. Okay. So let's keep on going. I went, you know, my man went there. So this is the video. What am I doing? This is the video. The one with Trap and Baby and, you know, Young Dolph. And you see the spiders. Just like I told you, it's stuff right in our face, y'all. Ask yourself this question, and we're just not paying it any attention. Okay? So, they got the street pharmacy stuff in this video. They got the spider in here. They got the clock. Like the clock is ticking. Okay? And they got the money. So, we know it's about money. We know Dolph was taken out about money. We know that it was taken out about street pharmacy stuff. But why they keep putting spiders? What, you know, what did the spider represent? Because Mo3's spider, his snake represented, to me, his partner. His partner's his closest partner that he thought was his friends. That he thought that was, you know, had his back. His manager 
slash promoter. And who else calls him his partner? His security. Okay? The Grim Reaper, a.k.a. Sean G. His two partners that everybody say was on the expressway too. What a predicament. His security was the first person that allegedly got, you know, locked up after Mo3 was taken out. So his video depicts his partners is his snakes. Okay, y'all? All right? So, like I told you, some told me to go back to Greek mythology. Um, So I have to go back to, you know, Greek mythology for Dolph. Because the thing of it is, is a lot of people is telling me that both of them are tied. In some kind of way. So, um, I told y'all before, I said, when Dolph is taken out, you're going to know who played a part when the people start trying to take over what he had. Okay? You're going to know who all played a part. So, we see Boosie is trying to come to Memphis. We see T.I. is trying to buy, allegedly, y'all, property in Memphis. We see, um, you know, I just looked at a recent video. I think it was from, I forgot who did it. But I just did a, saw a recent video and they were talking about CMG is coming back to Memphis now. They're planting roots back where Dolph had roots planted. Allegedly. Okay, y'all? We are seeing pictures of, you know, Boosie and his kids hanging out with Black, black Youngster. All the stuff, okay? We're seeing pictures of T.I. hanging out with Raven from Makita's. Okay, y'all? So, you're seeing the connections of who all played a part and who all was sitting back figuring out if he's making this type of money, we about to make this type of money too. Okay? And you got to still wonder about everybody that came up off of Dolph. Okay? You got to worry about, you got you to gotta sit back and think about the family that came off up about Dolph. You got to think about the record label that ha is coming up off of him. The people that was his business partners. You got to think about um, where he was taken out at. That's coming up, up off of him. Um, the ops. That's coming up off of him. Okay, so you got to... You cannot leave anybody off the table, okay? So, I think this is what it was mainly about in the first place. The money. And they was pretty much telling him his time is up. And... The street pharmacy stuff, okay? Which is the money. This is why, you know, how he was making a majority of his money. They turn in, you know, these shows that they are doing into street pharmacy stuff. Okay, y'all? They're buying the street pharmacy stuff to keep their, you know, the money rolling. All right? Sign, you know, sewing up the streets is what they call it. Okay? Now, y'all remember, <coughs> excuse me, when I first started doing... My three videos. Something was telling me. The clues are going to come to you in threes. Pay attention to the clues. When the clues start coming in in threes, these are the people that's tied. Okay? My day ones, twos, and threes, y'all know this. So the colors came first. Something came to me and said something with colors. And I'm like, colors? Just don't, I don't understand it. But then... All these people that had an involvement in it, people that started getting arrested, people that people were saying that had something to do with it that didn't get arrested, all of their names had colors in it, okay? So, Yellow Beezy, he's in the picture with the person that is locked up right now for being the hitter that was chasing him, one of the people that was chasing him on the expressway. Yellow Beezy is in pictures with him. Playing basketball with them. You know, they doing videos together. Hanging out together. So, allegedly, people said that they pay him the bag. Yellow Beezy now. So, there's one of the colors. Yellow. Okay? Then the next color popped up. Brown. Devin Brown. The other person that's locked up for Mo3 is Devin Brown, y'all. The girl, you know, the female, one of the ski sisters that he spent the night at her house. 
and left there and was taken out. That's her baby daddy, Devin Brown. Okay? And Kiwan White is the person that was allegedly in the picture chasing Mo3 down the expressway. One of the people, okay? Because they cut out the other people that was chasing them too. They didn't show them. All right, y'all? They made sure that they didn't show them. Allegedly. So we got the three colors, yellow, brown, and white. Okay, y'all? So then, it came to me that um the next clues and threes was going to be water. And y'all, I was just as confused as y'all would be if y'all would be this stuff would be coming to you and I'm like I, I don't I, what am I supposed to do but then it says you know just use what you know about Greek mythology and put it to the people that it was around it <clears throat> so I said okay water first person that jumps off the top is rain water because he got water in his name so I'm like okay he was the closest to him at the time. He was on the phone with him. So, possibly, he had something to do with this. Okay? Just what was coming to me. The next person that was close to him was Boosie. His name means water. His name means typhoon. His name means storm, tempest. So I was like, okay, that's another person that was around him. That was another person that brought him to Empire. Okay, y'all? So then, the main person that he was beefing with was Trap. He was on the expressway. He watched the whole thing go down. How did he know to be out there? You know, how did he just mysteriously pop up on the scene? How did he know that Mo3 was going to be there that day? In that time, ask yourself this question. Okay? So, trap names means, when I looked it up, it means the Black Sea. Dark waters. See, back in Greek mythology, dark waters, if you got the enemies in the Black Sea, you could defeat them because they could never find their way out of the Black Sea, the dark waters, because... They couldn't see anything. So it was a trap. So I said, okay. All right. At least the stuff is tying together. What you throwing my way? And then, like I told y'all, you know, I woke up and my hand was shaking. And I was like, now what? And then, you know, I had to write something down. And then my hand stopped shaking. And when I wrote it down, it said, there's footage. There is footage of Mo3 being taken out. Footage that was put together, not the footage from the expressway, but footage that everybody that played a part put together. So then when we started digging, okay, me and my sister, we started digging, and we came across a bunch of posts of people talking about they had a watch party. Okay? Everybody that was on an expressway had, you know, they put all of their footage together. Of different angles of Mo3 running, him being taken out on the street, okay? They put it all together and made a little video clip and threw a watch party and they sit back and drank the smoke and watched it, okay, y'all? And these are the people that tie to this church, y'all, okay? And when I started talking about this stuff, you know, they started talking about I can't stand that woman with the glasses and we going to do this and we going to do that. I can't, you know, this is when they all start saying this. Now, never mind. I, I had no clue that I was going to be through in the middle of that. Okay, y'all? But it is what it is. So, I was like this morning, I say, okay, so I got the clues for Mo3 through Greek mythology. So, why not go back for Dolph? Okay? So, here we are with this video right here. And the spiders. And I'm thinking... No, automatically, I'm thinking the trap, the spiders got to mean a trap. Got to mean a web. It got to. But do it, y'all. Okay? And when I first, 
you know, start talking about Dolphin Greek mythology. I thought about where he was taken out at. Makita's. And if you look up Makita's, Queen Sheba pops up. Okay? Queen Sheba. And then, I, you know, this morning I was like, well, if that's not it, if it's not the web, then is it the web of deception? Somebody, okay, your woman or something, deceiving you. Making you think that they love you, but in reality, you know, they're tired of your mess. And they're going along with the program. Okay? So then I was like, it took me back to that video that Megan Thee Stallion put up with the woman with the black, you know, she like a black spider. And I was like, well, a black spider could be a black widow. And y'all know what black widows are, okay? They mate and they kill. That's what black widows do, okay? They are killer queens. That's what they call them, killer queens. So... I thought about Greek mythology and I thought about the first spider in Greek mythology. Okay? The first spider. This was, you know, someone that wanted to challenge the gods. Okay? Wanted to challenge the gods because she felt like she could, you know, I don't know, it was something she could do. Weave or something like that. I don't know. It's something like weave something. Okay? And she felt like she was the best at it. So she wanted to challenge the gods. Okay? She was very arrogant, thinking that she was more than, you know. And y'all, you know, you know, a lot of people look to artists as, they look up to them like they're gods or something. That's why they think that they're gods. A lot of these celebrities are calling themselves God this and God that and this and that. So I was like, okay. So it took me to Money Maya, Mia Jace, you know. It took, it's taking me there. So I was like, okay. So she wanted to challenge the gods. And she lost. They did the little challenge together. And the person that she, the, the god that she challenged, whooped the tail. Okay? This is in Greek mythology. So her punishment was to turn her into a spider. Okay, y'all? I can't make this up. Her punishment was to turn her into a spider. So she was the first spider. Okay. Now. In Greek mythology. It also talks about. Queen of Sheba. Abandoning her. Original God for another. Okay. Now think about this. Now we all know. It's only one God in the heavens. Okay. But. A lot of people are saying that. Mia J. Okay, they're saying that she is an eastern star. So if she's an eastern star, then that means she has already abandoned the, uh, the original God. That she praises somebody else, okay? Y'all already know who that is. So it makes sense. It adds that up. Then in Greek mythology, it said that the father, okay, the father of, you know, the first spider was a minister. And then I looked up some information on Mia J. And I found out that her mother is a pastor. And I was like, wait a minute, you know? So things are lining up this way with her. So maybe I was in a, you know, going toward the trap when I should have been going toward the Black Widow, y'all. Okay? And just like I told you, look at how the videos is shifting from the snakes to the spiders. Okay, y'all? So that's why I say it's a shift of brewing, all right? It is a shift that has shifted, okay? So um, let's keep going. Now, I want to go back to mode, mode 3 just a little bit. When I was doing a Greek mythology on mode 3, because it's saying that there's some ties in here some kind of way. So I was doing the Greek mythology on Mo3. And, you know, how we first found out about all this stuff in the first place, what was going on was 
this psychic woman right here and these three sisters right here okay three three sisters the last persons that Mo three was with was the sister that was laying here on the bed okay this the person that he was sneaking off into the ops neighborhood to see and he ends up without his toy in the car and everybody was pointing the fingers to them like they had to move it but I say now I'm not so sure because Rainwater seems like he the one that could have moved it if he dropped them off at this or her house he could have took it out the car when he dropped him off over there and locked this car up and said, you know, see you tomorrow. I'll call you in the morning. Ask yourself this question. Now, when I saw these three sisters, the first thing that came to my mind was the sisters of gray in Greek mythology. I said, wait a minute. You know, this, this is some weird stuff. So, you know, Greek mythology, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. And Greek mythology, the God of Sea, these are their daughters. Okay? So, it takes you back to the water again. They're called the Sisters of Grey. Y'all can go look it up if you want. Or, some people call them the Sisters of Fate. Okay? And their whole story was about location. The Ops needing the Sisters of Grey. To help them defeat the enemy. So they had to give them the location of the enemy. So that they could defeat the enemy. And I was like, this makes sense. Because how did they find out where Mo3 was? It was only two people that knew where Mo3 was. The sisters knew where Mo3 was. So it makes sense that it lines up in the Greek mythology because they could have gave the location that where he was because a mysterious picture pops up, okay, on the internet, and then they took it right back down. And the manager knew where he was. So he could have played his part by removing that toy, y'all, okay? So this is what I came to the conclusion when I came to this. Now, another thing that's popping up right now, and hold up one second, y'all. Hold up one second. Okay. So, another thing that pops up, I gotta grab me something to drink. My mouth's getting dry, y'all. Give me a second. So, another thing that pops up is. I'm getting another clues and threes right now. I don't know why, but I am. And it's leading me to females. Did Trap and Yellow put six and females on Dolph? Just like they did Mo3. We have in this video right here that Trap did with Mo3. We have this female right here that was in Mo 3's video, and now she's in Dolph's video. Now, people was like, that ain't no coincidence, Miss Lowdown. These same girls be in the, the same guys' videos because they all, you know, down there, way right from the South. And these girls be in everybody's videos. So I was like, okay, maybe it's something to it. So I said, okay. And I just shut up. But then I came across another picture. Okay. The horses that left the stable, y'all. I was like, how in the world could this same girl be in the same, you know, presence of Yellow Beezy? Hanging out with Yellow Beezy. The one that's right in front of her. And then you have the same girl that's at a party that they say they threw because, you know, they were there partying, you know, celebrating that Dolph was taken out. This is what I heard, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. So, did somebody, you know, is these girls working together? Okay. This girl is hanging out clearly in Dallas. And the same girl is hanging out in Memphis. Okay. And she's partying with 
yellow beezy in this picture. And now she's partying with the people that's celebrating Dolph being taken out. So I was like, this can't be no coincidence. This is, okay, this is two females that was around the same people. Now, this is the third female. I don't know why. This morning, some told me, look at some old pictures. Because I can't get this girl's face out my head. Okay? And the one in the middle. I can't get her face out my head. And all of a sudden, this morning, and I'm like, why am I thinking about her? And I was like, you know what? She looks like many men. Okay? The, you know, the the one from Mo3 situation. Now, many men is the one on the, the two pictures on, on each side of her in the middle. And she was the one that was posting up a whole bunch of posts talking about, you know, send me y'all mother and cash apps, y'all. This is a beautiful day today when Mo3 got taken out. She was also the one that was saying, whoever want to try to help Mo3, they can go down with him. She was putting up a whole bunch of posts. And then when I started talking about it, she started erasing them and, you know, getting rid of all the posts, okay? But she was the one that was the most outspoken when Mo3 was taken out. And she was saying, you know, if you know, you know. And he, he, he had something to do with me getting hit up and blah, 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 blah. And I was the one that got shot too. So she was saying this. She was very outspoken about the part that she played in Mo3 being taken out. And I was like, why do they look so much alike, y'all? Am I tripping y'all or do these people look almost the same? If they're not the same person, then are they some kin to each other? Okay? Something wanted me to put this picture up. Okay, y'all? So I'm going to blow it up a little bit more for y'all so y'all can see it. And y'all can let me know in the comment section. Seriously, y'all can let me know in the comment section if I'm tripping. But look at this picture in the middle. And look at this picture to the right. And y'all tell me, don't they look alike? Okay? A lot of people that's tied to Dallas is tied to Memphis. In the same little circle. Now word on the street is the same female right here to the right. Many men. They say she had some ties with the people that was around King Von, too. Okay, y'all? She's some kin to them or something. Okay? So, I have to just throw that in there, too. So, they almost got the exact same body shape. Same face. If they ain't the same person, are they some kin? Okay? That's all I want to know. Are they some kin? Okay, y'all? And I got that from Mr. Petty Page. Now, we're going to get back to Dolph now. Let's get back to Dolph, okay? And I want to talk about... I want to go back to Greek mythology on Dolph. Okay, y'all? Let's go back to, to Dolph again. Now, in Greek mythology... I said, I looked up Dolph. I was like, what does Dolph stand for in Greek mythology? Okay. In Greek mythology, dolphins were heroes. Okay. They rescued people from danger in the sea. And I was like, this makes so much sense to why that he was named Dolph and why he Cause I was like, why did he have that, that dolphin chain and all that? Where did he get this name from? Do anybody know? Please tell me in the comment section. Anybody from Memphis? Let me know how he got that name. I know his last name. I mean, his name has Dolph in it, but you know, is that why that he chose the dolphins? But at the same time, it fits him so well because he was always helping people. And in Greek mythology, this is what they considered sacred. Dolphins were sacred in Greek mythology. And when, if someone was to take out a dolphin, they were breaking up a, a good omen. They were good omens. So it was bad luck to take out a dolphin. So for people that thinks that uh, they're going to get away with taking out dolphins, think again. 
Okay, think again. And I tell you this because the majority of the things that I have said about Greek mythology has came true. It has came true. Everything that I've said about it, it has came true as far as the stuff that I have, you know, I remembered and some stuff I looked up because I couldn't remember it. But I, you know, I was like, it's something I heard before about this and that and that and this. And I'll go back and look and then I'll be like, okay. But everything, you can ask my day ones, twos, and threes, it has lined up perfectly. So everybody, because people are in doubt of who all is going to get, you know, caught up for what happened to him. And people are saying that he got a very strong spirit. The reason he has a strong spirit is because dolphins are sacred to the gods. And they are not to be touched. Okay? So, you know, touching them sends your, you know, bad omens your way. Okay, y'all? So, um, they were considered messengers of the god of the sea. This is what dolphins were considered to be. So, if you think that they're going to get away with it, they're not. Even though things are looking like. They are prospering right now and people are getting deals that Dolph had on the table. Everything that they're doing is going to crumble right before your eyes. Mark my words. Okay, y'all? Now, the thing that messed up Dolph was when he started dibbling and dabbling in that stuff. Because, like I told you... Dolphins are considered sacred. Okay? They're, you know, they're special to the gods. But Dolph started dibbling and dabbling in demonic stuff. Okay? And, you know, it, it took him down a notch. All right? He had, and I think it was a video or a picture I ran across. And on his gate to his house, it had, you know, the all seeing eye on there and everything. I know y'all didn't came across it. He was doing something that was despicable to God. And he didn't like it. Okay, y'all? Um, I know he was singing about, you know, if he sacrificed himself, would he go to hell? He was singing about that. But one thing I've learned about in the Bible that, you know, when you pass away, your sins are forgiven. Okay. But you're still to be judged. So don't think, oh, just because the worst of the worst go out, they, they, they automatically go. It don't work like that, but his sins are forgiven. So maybe his sins was forgiven for all of the demonic stuff that he thought he had to do to get on top. Okay, y'all? But at the same time, he was already on top. So he really didn't have to do it. Okay, y'all? Um, This is the video again. The trap video. The white car, and remember the white car that pulled up that allegedly, you know, took him out or, you know, further took him out. This is the video of what we look, what looks like to me now, the red moon, the blood moon. Remember that pictures I was showing y'all that happened in what, China? It looks just like this, the blood moon. Okay, so like I told y'all, a lot of videos that he was doing, he was starting to hang around the wrong people. Okay, y'all? Now, another thing that I want to talk about, too, is people keep saying that Dolph is tied to Mo3. And I was like, what? You know, when I go to Greek mythology and I was like, what could tie these people together? Because water and colors and all this stuff was in Mo3 stuff. And I'm starting to notice water is in dolphs because of the dolphins and stuff. And, you know, dolphins are considered heroes. And then I, it took me back to another story that, that's in Greek mythology. About some dolphins that were turned into dolphins, but they used to be pirates. Okay, y'all? So it was these pirates that mistake. They mistook somebody for a prince. And I thought about, you know, it, it, it off the top made me think about Dolph's son. 
when it said, you know, the pirates mistook someone for a prince. And I guess they were going to do something to the prince or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember the whole story. But I do remember the gods. Well, the, the pirates jumped over the sea because the gods turned, you know, they turned the ships that, you know, the pirates were on into snakes. And then I was like, that that's the only thing that makes sense about the snakes and the dolphins and the spiders that connects them to Mo3. So it made me think about this. If the pirates' ships were turned into snakes so that they would leave the prince alone, okay? Um... And when, you know, the pirates went overboard, the gods still felt the need to, you know, be nice to the pirates. Even though they were about to do wrong. They still felt the need to be good to them. So they turned those pirates into dolphins. And those pirates were, for the rest of their lives, uh, they had to help people. Okay? So they turned, you know, what was bad into good. Okay, so people were saying that Dolph used to do some things that were bad or something like that. I don't know all the bad stuff that Dolph was doing, but that people were saying that he used to help a lot. of. He did more good than bad. This is what they're saying. And they're saying that, you know, people are saying that he had snakes around him. So could that have meant that? And if you think about Mo3 snakes, Mo3 snakes were... His partners, Rainwater and same people, Rainwater, people that was close to him, Rainwater, Bootsy, Sean G, they were his snakes. So, if Dolph was a pirate, okay, y'all, I, I might be losing some people, but think about the story. If Dolph was a pirate before he turned into a dolphin, and his whole Everything around him turned into snakes. Were the same snakes that was around Mo3 around Dolph. And I, we've been saying that already. So I was like, that's the only thing that kind of makes sense in the Greek mythology myth. And um, look who's on the videos now. Look, look who's on all of the, you know, the videos that's on YouTube. Look who's page has turned into Makita's num page skull and everybody knows that been following the mo3 case that rainwater runs skull's channel that's really rainwater's channel because skull do whatever rainwater tell him to do and put on whatever he want him to do rainwater is the person that okay everybody to be on the show all of that so that's the only thing that lines up to me but I'm still missing something because I had a couple of um, screenshots that I didn't put on here, y'all. But I'm going to go back later and put it on there. Okay? Because I want, you know, all of us to look at those screenshots together. And we all put our masks together. Because I remember before when I put up a screenshot and I was like, what is this word? And everybody was like, it's respect, Miss Lowdown. And they was right. So I want to pull up some more screenshots. I'm going to do it on another video, though, because this one already long enough. But another thing that caught my eye in this picture right here is this Neiman Marcus bag. And they're going to show this bag over and over again through this video. Okay? And I noticed that Neiman Marcus is, I just did a video on that. And I was like, why did I wake up this morning? And it took me back to this. The, his brother that we was calling Demon. Everybody really called him Young Neiman. Okay, y'all? So, this is where he got his name from. This is what, this is what I heard. Name and Marcus store. And all through this video with the spider, this, this bag is here. So, basically, you know, alleged, the brother. And then it, all the money is in this bag. When Bebe comes in and sit down, they're going to start taking money out the bag. And it was like, his brother was the last one there with him at Makita's, y'all. And Dolph had a bag. 
Mysteriously, this bag comes up missing. Don't nobody know where the bag went. But the brother, allegedly, left for a little while and came back. So ask yourself this question. Did the person that we was calling Demon, a.k.a. Marcus Neiman, young Neiman, okay? Did he take the bag that Dolph came in that store with? I'm just saying, y'all. This is where it took me today when I got up. I told you my head was pounding. I was like, why is it taking me here? But I'm just going to go with it. Here's another scene of Dolph holding the bag. And I'm like, why would he have a Neiman Marcus bag with some money in it? And why did I just do a video on this yesterday? Talk, oh, I think it was yesterday, a day before yesterday, talking about his brother. This is where he got his name from. Something is taking me here, y'all. I don't know why. But it's taking me toward the brother. It's taking me toward me and Jay, y'all. Okay? And this is another scene in the video that keeps showing this bag. And then, like I said, I just did this video. Now, I, I, I start thinking about Mia J's name, her real name. Okay? It's Jermia Jardine. Okay? Something like that. And, um... I thought about Greek mythology when it came to her name, too. And it said, it took me to someone who secretly gave birth. And I was like, this, y'all, people going to think I'm just taking this and just running with it. But this is what is coming up, y'all. You can look it up yourself. Okay? She gave birth to a son called Zeus. Okay, y'all? And she tried to hide the pregnancy, y'all. Okay? Another thing that came forth in her name was she was enslaved. And all of a sudden, she was free. She felt enslaved. This was coming up, with, you know, with her name in Greek mythology. Did she feel like she felt trapped. Do y'all think she felt like she felt trapped when she was um with Dolph? Because to me, I was like, that don't make no sense. But did she feel like she was trapped because she didn't want to go anywhere because the money was good to her. Okay, she didn't want to go nowhere. Dolph was making too much money. But at the same time he was making money, he was still doing the family stuff with her. But he was still disrespecting her because he rapped about his life. And he always rapped about other women. And he always rapped about he wouldn't let no woman run him. Okay, y'all? And there's also a video on YouTube with Dolph saying, you know, him in a room with some guys, they talking. And he was talking about his baby mama. Yeah, you know, acting like he, you know, love his baby mama. Then all of a sudden he was like, F that B. And I was like, whoa. So Dolph was very arrogant and he was disrespectful to her at times. But at the same time, you know, all of these pictures that she showed and this and that, like he was just so loving. He was just a family man. But at the same time, behind closed doors. The word on the street is Dolph was out here getting it in. Okay, y'all? Getting it in. All right? So ask yourself this question. Was this enough to make her feel like she was trapped? You know, she wanted to leave him. She knew he was going to still take care of her if she if she left him. But it wasn't going to be the same. And then somebody else would have probably got put in that place. He would have been spoiling them and she would have felt some type of way. And some of his rap songs, he even talked about he arguing with somebody so much he won't send her to law school. Okay, so he was arguing with her. So it wasn't peaches and cream. Now, another thing that pops out to me is how he was taken out, y'all. Okay? He was taken out on Ketchum Street. Okay, y'all? On Ketchum. 
And this is in a movie. So I'm trying, you know, it took me there this morning too. I'm just have to tell y'all. And when it took me there, it took me there about the Jeremiah guy. And in Greek mythology, Jeremiah was considered or called a weeping prophet or some preacher, prophet, something. The weeping preacher, something like that. Okay. And they called him that because they said he had a good heart. Okay, y'all. And it made sense about the Jeremiah guy because he was the one that was keeping the area clean. You know, the memorial area clean. But I was like, how do it tie into this Jeremiah catch him? So I'm still stuck on that part. I'm trying to get to it, y'all. I'm trying to get to that part of why that was put in there. And why did his life end in this way? Okay. Was it all tied to the fact that he started dibbling into this demonic stuff and it just, he was taken out in this way? Or is this something they all planned? Because I told you, they, they study people. Did it all line up for them? The Makitas with the, you know, Queen of Sheba stuff. Killer Queen, the Black Widow. Was he having issues with his woman, y'all? Was she tired of the cheating? Okay. Did it did it just make sense to do it at Makita's? Ketchum Street. You know, it lines up with all this stuff that was in this movie. And like I told you, I when I when I pulled up this movie stuff, and I was looking at this movie, and I was like, "Good God, all this stuff lines up with golf, catch him and kill him Street." Did it all just make sense to them to do it this way? That's the perfect place to catch him at. And you know, it just was the icing on the cake when Raven put up that. A little video or whatever that she put up saying that every time he come into town he comes right here he makes sure he makes that stop right here he was going to be in town for four days so only thing they had to do was line up people all around that place for the next four days y'all hang out around here people that lived in the area hang out all up here at the, the gas station hang out up here at the dollar store around the area if you see Dolph car everybody knows it's car when they see it then they had people following him allegedly. I talked about another thing the other day. I talked about somebody that was close to the Makita said that they pulled up in the park a lot and they didn't feel right. They didn't want to leave their car right there, so they moved their car. Why would somebody say that? That did not make sense. The only thing that made sense that would make me want to move my car if I pulled up and I felt an eerie feeling is the eyes on me. If ain't nobody out there, then why would you feel eerie? But if you pulled up and you got cars across the street, people are just, just watching you like, don't don't leave your car right there. We got other plans for that spot in a minute. Then that would make sense. So think about all of this and put it together, y'all. Okay? But we're going to keep on putting everything together that we can. But I just wanted to just go back to this some told me to take me take you all back there okay y'all but anyway please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all peace